Good day, everybody. Well, um, <clears throat> this is uh, an update on the dam. Um, I'm standing out on the road at the moment uh, that runs past my property, and um, the road sort of runs right past like that. Um, I've got a little bit of seal outside my place, but it's mostly dirt up that way. And um, the whole idea of the dam uh, getting the runoff from the road has worked a treat. Um, we've had I don't know, maybe a couple of inches of rain. I'll go and check at the end of this video and check the rain gauge and see actually what we've had. But as you can see, the road sort of collects quite a bit of water and it runs off into this ditch um, along the side of the road, which is great. And um, the water runs along here. I've still got a bit of cleaning up and planning to do around here, but I just want to make sure all the water flowed where I wanted it to first. Don't know if you can see it, but um, the water, it stopped raining about probably, oh, I don't know, maybe two or three hours ago, and the water is still actually flowing. Just try and see if I can show you. Can you see that flowing through there? I think you can. So the water is actually flowing right through here. So we've got all the levels perfect. What used to happen, is the water actually used to continue to flow down past my place, down to my driveway, and it would make it impossible to get in and out of my property when it rained heavily. So now, instead of the water continuing to flow along there, it's actually flowing in through here, in through um, what's essentially a silt trap here. Um, uh, and through that gap in the gate there, into the dam, which is just absolutely perfect. You probably, I don't know if you can see the water flowing through there, uh, but the water's actually flowing reasonably, uh, reasonably quickly through there. Not quick enough to cause erosion, but it's, it's actually flowing quite well. So uh, it's absolutely, absolutely worked a tree. So what's happening is the dam is filling from all that runoff from the road um, and it's also collecting runoff from around the property. And uh, just as we thought, over in that far back corner in the middle of the screen at the moment, um, we uh, set up the levels so that the water would actually flow out onto the property. Um, and stage two of the uh, earthworks is going to be some sort of a swale past that gate to um, to catch the excess and I'm just going to walk down to that gate now I'll stop the video and walk over there and you can have a look at what's actually happening on that side of the property so here I am I'm standing at the other end of the dam um, we were just over there sort of in the center of the screen um, and I've walked around the fence and come to the other end um, so what happens is when the dam is completely full as you can see it is completely full the water um, flows out this part of the dam um, and flows along here through this gate. Um, it's not ideal having it flow through a gate from a walkway perspective, but I can always change where the gate is later. It just happened to be this is where the levels were. And I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, the water is actually flowing through this gate. So the water that's coming in from the other end off the road is filling into the dam and then flowing back out the other end of the dam and through here, which is coming out into this paddock, which is fantastic. The water is sort of sitting up to about here. Um, quite a bit of water lying around. The water's actually just sort of stopped, I don't know, maybe, maybe here which is probably, I don't know, 10 metres from the gate and it's sort of spilled out and you can see where it's soaking into the landscape which is fantastic. And then uh, as we walk along here, the water actually is flowing slowly. Um, you can see it flowing through here. Just come around the other side of this clump of trees and the water is continuing to flow along here, 
right along the fence line, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. So it's essentially made, found its own path and its own swale. Um, along here, the water is flowing quite slowly, but it is flowing right through here. And continues along the fence line. And it starts to spread out here. I'm really taking this video so that I can get some bearings on where the water is actually laying and work out if we need to do any further earthworks um, to, uh, to tame the water or to hold the water. Because what is happening, let's walk through this puddle, as the water's continuing through. I want to make sure that the water all stays on my property and doesn't go into the neighbour's property. Um, coming through here, it's spreading out beautifully. And it's flowing. Um, let's make sure it is actually flowing and not just sitting. Very, very slowly it's flowing through here and across to that fence line. And it's actually also continuing through here. And um, at this point here, the water is it's actually flowing reasonably fast through and spilling out onto this area, up to the fence line. It's actually reasonably deep here. We've got, oh gee, so actually over my boots, over the toe of my boots, um, maybe three or four inches deep. So it's right in here. Well, this water is beautiful. It's not going into the neighbour's paddock because he's sort of built up a little bit further from me. But the water's sitting in here quite nicely. It's sort of made its own swales really. And uh, if I go through this gap, back where we were, the water's sort of filling up through here. And um, bear in mind that it's been, it's been a few hours since the, the rain stopped. The fact that it's actually, the water's continuing through the property. All of this would have all of this water before the earthworks would have flowed past my property down the street um, and just made a big mess and I wouldn't have been able to get in and out of my property um, in the car. Um, it would have created a lot of mud and a lot of mess. Uh, and as they say in permaculture, anything in excess is essentially pollution. Well, I guess the same thing goes for waters and water flows. See, it's just water is just everywhere. This this wouldn't have been here. The, the ground would have essentially looked just like this, like damp. Um, but there wouldn't have been any of this um, water just sitting. Um, as you can see, the water is actually it's actually flowing quite rapidly through this part here. It's obviously a bit of a change in level. Um, but look, it's, the water's pooling. Bloody fantastic. Right through here. Just imagine what this is doing to the landscape. It's just rehydrating it. Look at the water sitting here. It's almost like a little pond. Um, it just wouldn't have been here had that earthworks not been done and we hadn't taken the levels properly. Um, we didn't actually take the levels any further than the gate. I just wanted to see what it actually did. Um, when it started to, to, to rain, we knew it was going to go through the gate, but we didn't know where it was going to go from there. Um, and really, it couldn't be better. I mean, this is this is hydrating right along the fence line. I mean, if I want to put fruit trees or other trees, water standing there, uh, anywhere, um, we'll be able to. Uh, this is all sorghum, silk sorghum. Um, this whole fence line is the ideal spot to plant. Um, 
and the trees would just love it and the amount of organic matter that's going to get washed down and deposited just incredible this is really where the where the water ends now so we've come right down from where that big tree is and right over there where that big tree is in the center of the screen past that actually and the water's flowed right around the property right down this fence line and it ends here it's just amazing I, I couldn't even imagine how many how many litres of water might have flowed onto the property and are rehydrating the landscape now that wouldn't have been there before thanks for watching sorry it's been such a long video but really there's no other way to show you and I wanted to really document it also so I know where I can plant uh, in the future thanks see you later we are at the rain gauge just to give us an idea of how much rain we actually had um, this is showing uh, about 23 mils um, and I emptied it last night so that's almost an inch I emptied it last night um, when I got home and it had been raining most of the day and it had uh, a little over an inch so in total uh, about two inches about 50 mils of rain has caused all that rehydration that's actually it's quite a bit of rain for out here but in the scheme of things it's actually it's not that much uh, it's not like we've had four inches of rain and it's caused all this runoff it's only two inches and um, the benefits for this property are just going to be immense having all of that water running on there just incredible thanks for watching see ya